Hello everybody. In this lesson, I will discuss some theory in probability, more specifically the addition rule, mutually exclusive events, as well as the complementary rule. The notations we use in probability. P A means the probability of event A happening. P A's complement means the probability of event A not happening. P A and B, that means the probability of event A and B happening, and that symbol means intersection. P A or B the probability of event A or B happening, and that symbol means the union. And then lastly, we get the probability of event A happening given that B has occurred. And then in a dice, the sample space S is the set of all possible outcomes. S is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 for that. So the sample space for a dice is that. The sum of all possible outcomes of an experiment is equal to 1. Let's look at this example. A box contains red, blue and green sweets. When one sweet is chosen at random from the box, the probability that it is red is 7 out of 19 and the probability that it is blue is 4 out of 19. What is the probability that it is green? So we can start by making a little formula for ourselves with probability red plus P blue plus P green must be equal to 1. And then we substitute in the values. The red was 7 out of 19 and the blue 4 out of 19. In the next step, we're going to add them together. 7 plus 4 is 11 out of 19. And then you make probability green the subject of the formula so the 11 out of 19 will walk over and therefore the probability that you will draw a green suite will be 8 out of 19. Now I'm going to discuss some rules and formulas that you must remember. Now first of all we get something that we call mutually exclusive events and what that is it's they are events that have no intersection or overlap it is impossible for them both to occur so in other words if i just give you a little venn diagram like that it means there will be no intersection so this is not the venn diagram it will just be two separate sets of information like that and then there's a rule, mutually exclusive events. We have p probability A and B equals zero. And remember, and little symbol was that. So that means there was no intersection. Remember that. The next one is something we call the addition rule. In general, the addition rule is true in all cases where we consider two events and then there is the addition rule and that one is also on the formula sheet and just to show you here the or that's the symbol for or and and that is the symbol on the formula sheet but if events a and b are mutually exclusive it follows that p a and B is equal to zero. That part over there is equal to zero. And then the addition rule for mutually exclusive events is then P A or B equals P of A plus P of B. Because that part, the P A and B part for the mutually exclusive that was zero, so it, it's not part of your formula anymore. Guys, you must remember this. This is going to help you a lot in your exam. Now we look at something we call complementary events, and they are mutually exclusive. 
This means that the events have no intersection or overlap, so it is impossible for them both to occur. The complement of set E, called not E, can be written as E complement, so there's a little dash on the right-hand side of the E. In probability, we call it E complement. There's a formula that we say probability E plus probability not E is equal to 1, and then there in the red cloud, you can see the formula probability E plus um, probability E's complement is equal to 1. That one is not on the formula sheet, so you must remember that. And then just be below the green arrow there, all I did was I made probability E the subject of the formula. Now let's look at some examples. So the question here is, a die is rolled. State whether events A and B are mutually exclusive or not. Now let's think about this one. Number A says, a is the event a 2, and B is the event a 3. So there's your sets for them. So this means A, if you want to look at Venn diagrams, is 2, and B is 3. So are they mutually exclusive? Both A and B cannot happen at the same time. They are mutually exclusive. Can you see there's no intersection between them? Number B, A is the event a 2, and B is the event an even number. A is a 2, and B is an even number is 2, 4, 6, 8. So in fact, it looks, the Venn diagrams here will be doing that. A is just the 2, and B includes the 2, a 4, a 6, etc. So it's very clear that the common element to both is the number 2. So both A and B can happen at the same time. They are not mutually exclusive. Example 2. Given the sample space S is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. State whether or not the events are complementary. Now, for events to be complementary, two things have to happen. The first one is P, A and B equals zero. In other words, no intersection. And the other one is probability A plus probability B has to have to equal one. Okay, let's start. Number one, selecting an even number and a multiple of five from your sample space, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So even numbers will be A out of that six, eight, and ten, and the only multiple of five will be ten. What can you see that events share a common element? number 10. Can you see? And that implies there will be an intersection. Therefore, the events are not mutually exclusive and they are not complementary events. You see, you only test it against those two conditions. Number two, selecting a multiple of three out of your sample space and a prime number. So the multiples of three from that sample space will be 6 and 9, and the only prime number you find there is 7. The first thing, events are mutually exclusive. Why? There's no intersection, so we're halfway there. Now we just need to test whether the probability of A plus the probability of B is equal to 1. And when we do that, now let's decide. Probability of A is 2 out of 5. Now, where does the 2 come from? It's the two elements, 6 and 9. And then the 5, where does the 5 come from? That's the total, the 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 that was in your sample space. And then probability of B is this one number, the 7, 1 out of 5. And then we add them together, the left-hand side, we find 2 
over 5 plus 1 over 5 is 3 over 5. And can you see the probability of A plus the probability of B is not equal to 1. It's equal to 3 over 5. Therefore, the events are not complementary. So for events to be complementary, you must remember that both those conditions have to be true. Right, number three, we, the question is still, we need to discuss whether they are complementary events and choosing an odd number and a multiple of two. So just quickly, the sample space, because it's on the other slide, was six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So let's test the two conditions. The set of odd numbers from that sample space will be 7 and 9, and the multiples of 2 are 6, 8, and 10. And then, can you see there's no common element, there's no intersection, the one that's the same. So therefore, there's, um, they are mutually exclusive. And then our other con condition to test for is probability A plus probability B is equal to 1. Let's do that one. Probability A is 2 out of 5 and probability B is 3 out of 5. And then when we add the two, we get 5 out of 5, which gives us probability A plus probability B is equal to 1. And they are mutually exclusive. Therefore, events are complementary. In the next lesson, I will discuss more practice examples on the theory of probability. Click on the video in the left hand corner to take you straight to the next lesson.